Hello friends, welcome back to Star Laboratory. If you are not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell button. Okay, now let's move to our lesson. Today we are going to do the test for serum total bilirubin. Firstly, take six scan tubes and label as test, test blank, QC, QC blank, standard and standard blank. Next, we have to add the caffeine benzoate. So, this caffeine benzoate is an accelerator by splitting the unconjugated bilirubin protein complex and gives a rapid and complete conversion to azobilirubin. Okay, now let's add 1 ml of caffeine benzoate uh, into these uh, all 6 scan tubes. Okay, now let's add 1 ml of caffeine benzoate into the test. Then 1 ml of caffeine benzoate into the test blank. Then uh, let's add 1 ml of caffeine benzoate into the QC. Then after that uh, we add uh, 1 ml of caffeine benzoate into the QC blank. So after that uh, we add 1 ml of caffeine benzoate into the standard. Then uh, finally uh, we are going to add 1 ml of caffeine benzoate into the standard blank. As a next step, uh, we are going to add the patient uh, test serum sample. I have already separated the serum here. So now let's add uh, 100 microliters of the patient uh, test serum into the conduit uh, which is labeled as test. After addition of the patient serum into the caffeine benzoate, uh, we have to mix the tube well. Okay, now let's add 100 microliters of the patient test serum uh, into the conti which is labeled as uh, test blank. Next, we have to add the QC serum. So now let's add 100 microliters of the QC serum uh, into the uh, conti which is labeled as QC and uh, we mix the tubes well now let's add 100 microliters of qc sample uh, into the qc blank After that, uh, we had to add the standard. So now let's add 100 microliters of the standard uh, into the candy which is labeled as standard. So same as this step, uh, let's add 100 microliters of the standard uh, into the final candy uh, which is labeled as standard blank. In this test, uh, we need the diazor agent. Uh, this uh, diazor reagent should be prepared freshly uh, by adding 0.1 ml of uh, sodium nitrate uh, and 4 ml of sulfonylic acid. So it's very important to uh, keep this diazor reagent into the amber color bottle. Now let's uh, prepare our diazor reagent. So firstly, uh, we take 4 ml of sulfonylic acid uh, and add into the amber color bottle. Then let's take uh, 0.1 ml of sodium nitrate solution and add uh, into that uh, amber color bottle uh, which is labeled as diazor agent. After addition of this reagent, uh, we generally uh, mix the bottle well and leave it for 2 minutes. Uh, 
now we have prepared our diazo reagent uh, so now let's add 0.5 ml of diazo reagent into the corn tube uh, which is labeled as test Then let's add uh, 0.5 ml of diazo reagent uh, into the QC. Nextly, we add 0.5 ml of diazo reagent into the standard. Sulfonylic acid is diazoized by the nitrous acid produced from the reaction uh, between sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid uh, and both conjugated and uh, uh, unconjugated bilirubin can be react with the uh, uh, diazo reagent to produce azo bilirubin so this is the principle behind this test Okay, now let's add the 0.5 ml of sulfonylic acid uh, into the test blank, standard blank and QC blank. I have added 0.5 ml of uh, sulfonylic acid uh, into the test blank. Uh, now let's add 0.5 ml of sulfonylic acid uh, into the QC blank. Uh, so like this, uh, we had the 0.5 ml of uh, sulfonylic acid into the standard blank also. Up to these uh, test procedures, uh, we called as the Malloween Ebling reaction or as the Vandenberg diazo reaction. Uh, in this reaction, both uh, conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin can be converted into acid azo bilirubin complex uh, uh, with the help of uh, diazo reagent. So, this acid azo bilirubin complex is in pink color. But if the patient sample is hemolyzed, it can be interfered with this pink color production. So therefore, nowadays this malloween Evering reaction is outdated. But in Gentrasic growth reaction, this acid azobilirubin is again treated with this alkaline tartrate and it can be converted into blue-green color complex. So therefore, it can be reduced this uh, hemolysis interference, stability interference and it can also increase the specificity so therefore nowadays we are using this gentrasic growth reaction so now let's add one milliliter of alkaline tartrate uh, according to this uh, gentrasic growth reaction Now let's add uh, 1 ml of alkaline tartrate into the test. Then 1 ml of alkaline tartrate into the test blank. Then we add uh, 1 ml of alkaline tartrate into QC and QC blank. Finally, we add uh, 1 ml of alkaline tartrate into the uh, standard and standard blank. After addition of this alkaline tartrate, uh, we can observe the color changes. Uh, we can observe this uh, pink color changed into uh, blue green color complex. As a final step, we measure the color production with the help of a spectrophotometer by taking the absorbance at 600 nanometer wavelength.
so that's all for today friends so after watching this video please give a like share it subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell button thank you